Gentlemen, in societies around the world, it is evident that when women get money from the system that is meant for the child, they use it to fund their lifestyle. This is not a secret. Most mothers will use their kids' money on themselves instead of on the kids and act like they have their children's best interest at heart when that is not the case. So I want you to answer this question and arrive at your own conclusion. Do you think mothers love their kids unconditionally? You don't have to put it in the comment section, but if you really look at how single mothers parent their kids and then look at how those kids turn out, that will tell you everything you need to know. Because around the world, there is statistical evidence to prove that most kids that don't have a decent or good father in the home turn out to be losers. That's just the cold reality of the situation, and before you throw your daddy under the bus to defend your mother, I want you to think for a sec. Who controls access to sex? And after you answer that question, ask yourself why your mom chose to get impregnated by a so-called deadbeat. That should put you in check, so you understand that your mom is not the sweet angel that can do no wrong like you think she is. I try to be fair, sometimes the dad is the problem, sometimes the mom is the problem, and highly likely both parents are the problem, so don't be so quick to choose sides because you grew up without a dad and you only heard your mother's side of the story. So I'm pointing out that mothers are not these angelic beings that always have their kids' best interest at heart. And to back up my claim and prove my case, I came with evidence that will show you that women misuse their kids' funds all the time and set them up for failure. There was a video by Judge Boyd a while back about a single mammy that was using her daughter's funds to fund her lifestyle, and that's what we're going to go over today. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the original video on her channel, but I found it on someone else's channel, so I'll link the channels below to give proper credit. Before we dive in, I want you to take this video as a lesson of what your future baby mammy or ex-wife will do with the money you give them for your child. I'm not saying that all mothers will do this, however, if you get put on child support or send her money, just have it in the back of your head that most of it will not go directly towards the child. This is just how women function. Most of them don't really care about the kid, all they care about is what they can get by having a kid, which is money and resources, and it is what it is. The only way to avoid this trap is not to have kids or do surrogacy. There's no other guarantee that your hard-earned money will not be wasted on BS by the child's mother. At best, they'll use your money so that they and the kid can survive, and that's the best case scenario. So if you want to avoid potentially 18 years of wasted money and your kid having nothing set aside for their future, hire a surrogate or end your bloodline. The choice is yours. With that out of the way, tap the like button and let's dive into the video. All right, so here's my question. And this was my concern. How are you financially supporting yourself? I get, I get social security. Um, for my daughter. Well, I mean, that's support for her specifically. That's not supposed to be because for you it, using. It, it covers, like, because we get Section 8 and we get food stamps, and that's how I've been living from her for the past eight years. Because uh, she was going to be nine. So she's going to be nine. So I've been um, a full time parent since then. I have little jobs here and there, but it's been difficult uh, sometimes i can't hold him i have too many appointments for her so you guys heard what the daughter's mother just said and to put it plain and straight she just basically said that she's a leech and a parasite living off of the money that her daughter receives from the government that's basically what she just said and she's proud to say it but you know what this is nothing new Women have been doing this for a very long time, so none of you should be shocked hearing all of this. In some countries like the US, women will get pregnant to get free money from the government. These are the same women that society calls strong and independent and a princess warrior after they intentionally ran the father out of the kid's life. Look, in today's day and age, after women fought so hard to be equal to men, there is no reason why this woman should not be working to support her daughter. That is just being irresponsible as a parent to choose to live off of your kid's money instead of being a grown adult and taking responsibility for creating a life. There are zero excuses because she's able-bodied and in America, jobs are not hard to get, so she needs to get a job and grow up. If you're watching this and steam is coming out of your ears because you have a problem with what I just said, just know that you're the problem. It's people like you that make it hard for the rest of us in society. Regarding kids, I believe both parents should do what's necessary to provide for and take care of their kids. This woman shouldn't have to rely on help from the government so that she has a place to stay and food to eat in the first place. But sadly, people will be reckless with their bodies and fornicate like rabbits, but when the responsibility comes knocking at their door, they don't want to do what they need to do. This woman is reprehensible, that's all I'm going to say. And if the father isn't taking care of the kid when the mother isn't being a pain in the butt, then he's also a part of the problem. Let's continue. 
What appointments do you have for her? Work on that. For her, she, um, we're supposed to be back on PT, OT. Um, we have uh, physical therapy. News. Um, I'm supposed to give her in behavioral. I haven't done it because it's just so much. And then plus I've been feeling sick myself when I sent, when we came last time, I had the mask on, on my neck still. Um, and I'm supposed to see a doctor coming up this February. When is she going to school? She does go to school. Thanks. All right. So why don't you have a job while she's at school? Because if she gets sick, and especially during this COVID time, I lost a job because of that. I had a job last year and I lost it because we had to stay home for 14 days. She has a real immune system. She's down syndrome. All right. So I added that part to show you the mental gymnastics that this woman goes through to try and justify why she doesn't have a job. Now I can go on and on about this, but let me ask you this, do you think a man could say and try to do what she's doing and get away with it? Hell no, they would take away custody of the child and give the mother full custody, that's what would happen. CPS would be called on him if they found out he was using their child's money to fund his lifestyle, and he would never see that kid again. But here we are with this irresponsible mother leeching off her kid for over a year, and thankfully this judge is on the side of justice because most judges would have found a way to make the man pay and let the mom off the hook. There is no excuse for this woman not to go and work, there's none. Sure, her daughter allegedly had a disability but judging from the fact that she leaves and goes to school, that means the mom can go to work and be an adult. Can you imagine impregnating someone with her attitude and mindset? Let's continue. Well, here's the, the thing. I understand uh, your issues. I understand the situation. I understand that you want to care for your daughter. But I also understand that your sole source of support financially is not supposed to be your daughter's social security. You're going to have to get a job. And if you get a job and you lose a job, then you get the job and you lose the job for your daughter. But you need to start working because you're living off of your daughter's income. That's not right. And that's not intentional either, Your Honor. Well, I mean, that's you're going to have to correct that. You're going to have to get a job. I love this judge, she's pretty much hitting all the points that I mentioned earlier and there's no denying the fact that this woman is a leech and a parasite. How on earth do you reach a point where you just decide it's better to live off your kid's money instead of going to get yours? I honestly don't get it. I could never stoop that low to accept peanuts from my kid instead of working my own money, that's just crazy to me. But like what the judge said, what she's doing is not right and she needs to go and get a job. So if any of you were in here defending this criminal, please unsubscribe and go watch somebody else's videos. We can't be out here destroying our kids' future and defending lazy bums. And it doesn't matter if the dad is in the picture or not. That doesn't take away from the fact that she should and needs to be working because that's just irresponsible and she is not equipped to be a parent. I usually don't say this, but if the father can't care for the kid for whatever reason, I would rather the kid grow up in a loving and responsible two-parent household with male and female foster parents than a mother like this. That's just my opinion. You don't have to agree with me, but I don't like seeing kids being used and taken advantage of because they didn't ask to be here. Let's continue. You can't depend on your child's check that's supposed to be for her specifically to financially support you. I mean, you tell me you're on Section 8, which means that <clears throat> the rent or whatever you're paying is much less than other people who are not. Then, so you're using your daughter's income for your housing. You're using her income hey, for Ms. food. Rose. You're using her income for clothes. You're Thank using you. her income for gas. If you're putting gas in your vehicle, if you have a vehicle, you're using her income for your car note. If you have a car note, you're using her income for uh, your utilities, she is financially supporting you. Your daughter should not be the sole so source of financial support for you. So you're gonna have to get a job and I'm requiring you to get a job. And if you end up getting fired from that job, then you get fired from that job and you're gonna search for another one because your, your sole source of income should not be your daughter. Guys, what did I say? That's a leech and parasitic behavior and I called it. Look at how much stuff that her daughter is paying for, or more accurately, the taxpayers are paying for her lifestyle, and she has the nerve to be up there defending her behavior when all it takes is one emergency, and it's game over for her. This is not a joke, she's living life on edge because it only takes a health scare or accident, and she's done. I can't believe you Americans, if she lived in a third world country, I bet you she'd be working her butt off or selling that wet vice grip because the government wouldn't give her a damn thing. 
You guys have no idea how good you have it, so to see a woman like this trying to fin s the system at the expense of her child by barely getting by is a sore tragedy. I'm going to skip out on a lot of repeated dialogue so we can hear about the father, so let's dive into it. I do this alone. I don't ask anybody for help. I don't ask for any extra Is that father alive? No. Not alive. Mm. He's not around. He said he well, didn't want a retarded daughter. All right, so here's the thing, and this is what I try to tell everybody. We choose our partners in life. We decide to have children and we choose the partner that we're going to have a child with usually, normally. So you chose him. And guess what? I'm not your civil attorney, but you walk straight over to civil court and you file documents to have him put on child support. And he has not paid. Well, then you need to go do an enforcement and you need to get an attorney to do that. But I want you to hear me clearly. I understand your issues, I do, but it doesn't change the fact that you are living off of your child. So the dad just up and left this daughter because according to her, she's retarded. It may be true, but I don't believe she's telling the whole story. I think he left because of the woman, not his daughter, but I could be wrong. And I love what Judge Boyd said, we choose our partners that we're going to have a child with, meaning take accountability for your actions. That's the same thing I said earlier, if she let a bum impregnate her, then that's her fault. She didn't have to let a bum be her peace leave up. She didn't state whether or not they were married, and if that's the case, she could have married before she carried. Do you see what I'm saying, gents? It's time we stop automatically blaming men and hold women accountable. XX's control access to sex, so if a woman didn't get great but gets knocked up, she wanted it to happen, and if she chose the wrong man, then that's her fault. That's the bottom line, not all men are deadbeats, and it's time we hold women's feet to the flame. Now as it relates to child support, I don't know if what she said is true, but I wouldn't wish child support on any man. However, I have to be fair, if he really isn't taking care of his kid after having proof that the kid is his, then he needs to step up and take care of his kid or get put on adequate child support. I can't be here telling this woman to get a job while the father is not trying to help, and that's his kid. I get it, no man wants to give the money to the mother, especially if she's a leech but find some way to provide for your kid. Because as men, we help to bring life into the world, so we are responsible for playing our part and contributing to our offspring. That's how I look at it. In this case, if the baby mammy isn't terrorizing the father and he just doesn't want to help at all, then he needs to be put on child support. But if the mother is a POS, then I don't think he should be placed on child support. In that circumstance, he needs to wash his hands of the mother and daughter and let her deal with it since she's unwilling to cooperate and be a good parent. You don't have to agree, but that's my thought process because it's clear the money isn't even going towards the kid, so what's the point? Let's continue. You have got to get a job. End of story. You can't live off your child. And if there's a call center you can work for, then work for it. If you can work at McDonald's, then work at McDonald's. But I am not going to allow you to live off your daughter and you're here for a, a driving while intoxicated case that was reduced to a misdemeanor so the fact that you had alcohol guess what mm -hmm. your daughter paid for you to have alcohol and i know your daughter's not drinking so you took part of her social security money to pay for alcohol i didn't pay to use alcohol did somebody buy you that drink yes ma'am it was my birthday time who bought you the drink my all right so you're out drinking, enjoying your life. And was your daughter with you when you were drinking? Yes, ma'am. This is uh, dinner. <laughs> Again, what did I say? They take the money meant for the child to go and have fun. Even if someone paid for her liquor, she still spent money that day, money that was meant for her daughter. I keep telling you guys they love money more than they love their children, and it's in your face. There's no denying what I'm saying they will destroy and burn down everything to the ground to get some free money, and it's sad as F. If only XXs knew what they were giving up for money, they would see how dumb they are. But they're never going to change, so the only thing men can do is put themselves first and protect themselves and their seed. If there's anything to take away from this video, it would be to look into surrogacy as a viable option for having kids or don't have kids. Either way, that's how you protect yourself from women like that single mother. On the screen is a video that will blow your mind and prove to you why dating single mammies is a big no-no, so click it right now to learn some hard-cold facts.